Okay. So this video we're going to do trimming. So going over the trimming tools, the basic pottery toolkit has one of these guys in it. It's a double-ended loop tool. It's got a round eyed and a square end. Then a step up from that, you've got Kemper and Dolan tools, which you know come single-ended. So you get a square end and a round end. And then the, the Cadillac of tools are your bison tools. Um, in terms of care of your tools, you want to keep them clean and dry, especially the Kemper and Dolans, because they're made out of carbon steel and they will rust. When you do need to sharpen them, a wet stone, I keep mine oiled and you know, small circles at the same angle as what they were made as, and you'll get a sharp edge again. I try to sharpen them, you know, like once a week, as soon as they get a little dull, it's better to have them sharp and cutting the way they're supposed to than dull and having to push harder than you want. The bison tools don't really get sharpened um, unless you send them back to, I believe his name is Phil, and kind of feels like it needs to be sharpened here soon. And flexible metal rib of death is another important tool. So in terms of centering, I know people have asked about tap centering. So tap centering is your um, fingers on the your right hand side tapping to get it to go in the middle. Um, I also bump center, which is with my thumbs. So I'll go over both ways. First way to practice is if you have it on the wheel and you just push and get it to move. If you push it too hard and it's moving too much per bump, you're, put, you're hitting it too hard. If you're hitting it and it's not moving, you're not hitting it hard enough. So as long as you practice how hard you bump, you can easily get it in the middle or make it a little more easy by practicing ahead of time. The other way, so that was bump centering with your thumbs. You can also practice that with tap centering, how hard you need to hit it to move it. So it should be moving about that much. So to get it in the middle with bump centering, I'm going to bump it with my thumbs till it goes in the middle. So the bumps get harder or bumps get softer as you bump it until it's in the middle. My thumbs are kind of corralling it so it doesn't fly around and it's at a medium speed. The other way is tapping and you just keep tapping lighter and lighter until it's in the middle. So that's getting it in the center. The actual trimming of it, I hold my pots down with wads. So I press down on the pot, take like a sausage of clay there, and press it down against the wheel head. Once it's pressed on, you spin it, check to make sure it's still in the middle. I start with the roundy ended side of the tool first, and that's going to cut away the majority of the weight. And then after you've removed the weight that you want, you go back to either your square ended tool or the bird head tool, and you're going to clean up those rings. And then you take the square end of your dumbbell ending loop tool and you're going to undercut the foot, clean that up, start with the corner on the inside of the foot ring, press in the middle, and move out towards 3 o'clock, turn it over so that you're then hitting with the, the flat part of it, and repeat that until you put a hole in the bottom or you're the right thickness. Round off the corners so that it's smooth. And then on the outside, take your flexible middle rib of death, scrape off the rings that you made with the tool, and then hit it with the edge to burnish it. After a few passes with the part here, you hold it more with the flat side, and that'll really clean it up. And then you burnish their foot so you don't scratch your stickly. Start with the rib, finish with your finger. Make sure there's no boogers in the bottom. And then you sign it. And I end up signing mine with a Donna Dewberry tool, or you can use a dull pencil. I don't like signing it with needle tools because it leaves these horrible boogery marks. And that is trimming a bowl.